Good afternoon. This week in Social Studies, we'll be going over living and non-living. Takes 1.9a, and it states, The student is expected to sort and classify living and non-living things based upon whether or not they have basic needs and produce offspring. The vocabulary for this week will be living, has life, is alive, non-living, does not have life, it's, which is usually an object, Need, must have, or want. Basic, the least amount needed to live or survive. And offspring, the child or offshoot from a parent or a living thing. Let's start off with living. There are four rules that will let you know if something is living, which are living things require water, air, and food, like us. Living things grow and develop. If they go through a life cycle, then it's living. Living things reproduce, such as your parents, they reproduce to you. Cats reproduce kittens. Apple trees reproduce uh, apples. And living things can respond to the environment. If you're cold, you get a jacket, you cover up. If you're hot, you could turn a fan on. You, If you can um, adjust to the environment, then it's a living thing. Examples of living. Remember, if something exhibits one or more, but not all of the four rules that we just talked about, it does not mean it's living. But if it does, then um, it is living. Examples are animals, such as cats, people, uh, uh, such as your mom, or plants, such as apple trees. All these um, exhibit um, traits of living, such as they all need um, food, air, and water to live. They also reproduce... Now let's talk about non-living. Non-living things do not require water, air, or food because they are not alive and do not grow. Some non-living objects have some characteristics of living objects, but that doesn't mean they're living because they do not, um, they do not uh, possess the four rules that we talked about earlier. And some non-living things um, once came from something that was living, but isn't living anymore. An example of that are fruits and vegetables. They were once living because they came from a tree or underground, but once pulled off from the tree, they don't they stop growing, so they're considered non-living now. And some examples of non-living. Okay, remember some non-living things may show some living characteristics, but not all, so that makes them non-living. Such as hotels, houses, they don't need air or um, water, food, they don't reproduce. Uh, pencils, pens, trucks, cars. Mainly, they're mainly all objects. So if it's an object um, that doesn't possess the four um, characteristics, then it's considered non-living. And these are um, the two things we'll be going over social studies this week. Thank you.